and today what you guys have let me just turn this off it's my little Bluetooth speaker by the way you guys not at all related to makeup well actually kind of it is because I can't do my makeup without listening to music anyways um, this is my little Bluetooth speaker and that's what I always use and the sound that comes out of this thing is incredible. It's more powerful than my TV. My TV's old. But anyways, so in this video, what we are going to be talking about is my favorite foundations. I've pulled a few. And by a few, I mean like 27. No, I'm kidding. Not that many. But I wanted to kind of grab like one from each category. So I have drugstore, like uh, middle kind of priced stuff, and then a few high end ones. So I figured that I would just kind of throw some different options in because this is an overall my favorite foundations and in fact some of those are drugstore so this isn't like my favorite high-end or my favorite at Sephora it's just my favorite foundations in general and all of these have been in rotation for I'm gonna say at least a year within the last year um, I bought a few new foundations that I really love, but I'm still testing them out, and so I don't feel like it would be fair for me to say it's my favorite Holy Grail foundation when I've only used it a few times. So, if you guys are curious to know what I like to cover my face with, <laughs> just keep watching. By the way, hopefully um, my outfit stays in intact i really wanted to make this outfit work so this is me working it whatever it looks like and hopefully i don't you know pop out and and whatever because that is just not what this video is about it is about makeup but yes i have cleavage too so let's get started by the way you guys thank you so much for all of your support so far. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out. That's where I am most of the time. And so that's Seattle MUA Renee, and I'll leave a link below as always. And one little like hint that I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, the, the giveaway I just had ended yesterday, last night, but I'm already in the process of doing another one and I have something from a brand on its way to me that will be going to one of you guys. And let's just say that it has something to do with a vanity organization type of thing. So yeah, get ready for that. So, let's talk about foundations, you guys. <laughs> this is like the longest intro. Okay, so, here's what I'm thinking. I am thinking that I will start out with drugstore and we'll just kind of work our way up. By the way, I thought that I should probably tell you while I silence my phone that I, I typically on, um, you know, days where I wear a full face of makeup, I prefer full coverage and I do get oily, especially in my T-zone. Like right now, I feel like I'm getting oily right now at this very moment. So, um, yeah, and then the rest of my face is normal, hashtag sensitive, hashtag prone to breakouts, stuff like that. I have a little bit of acne scarring, which you can't see because I'm wearing full coverage foundation. And um, anyways, so that's a little bit of background about my skin and my preferences 
Also, I've mentioned this before, and um, you know, on Instagram, once you find your favorite foundation or concealer, stuff like that, I mean, lipstick is one thing, and you can wear, you know, I mean, I wear a different shade every time I do my makeup, but foundation, I feel like it's really hard to step outside your little comfort zone bubble once you get in it and once you find that foundation or that combo that works well for your skin type and your skin tone it's really hard to try something new even though I do try new foundations but I keep running back to like like it's like a relationship like I keep running back to the guy that treated me well that you know didn't do me wrong that didn't cause me any disturbances you know was was kind and polite and did a lot for me and and that's that's the foundation that I keep running back to in my case it's actually two so I guess I'm a cheater um when it comes to foundations so for me, I have a very olive skin tone. You can tell by just how like green my veins are. I am a European mutt. And so it is usually pretty difficult for me to find one shade, let alone I usually have to combine a few shades just to get something that will closely match my body. And my face is always lighter because, you know, as we all know, we exfoliate, we wash our face every night, we use, you know, skincare and stuff like that. By the way, my last video is my night ter night ter night time skin care routine. Now I won't talk like that. Not again. So, let's get showing you some shit, or else I'm going to be here babbling about who knows what to who knows who for who knows how long. So, first up, I want to give a shout out to CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This is the shade that I feel like is closest to me, although I do have a, another shade that I sometimes combine with it depending on how self-tanned I am or how if I got back from Arizona then I turn a different tan so um, anyways yeah I just this and the next one that I'm gonna talk about are definitely my favorite from the Doug the Doug store <laughs> the drugstore we really suck if I had lipstick on my teeth. Um, it has a pump and it is full coverage and I feel like this is one of the best foundations that gives you that matte look without being like completely flat. I used to love the L'Oreal one, um, the matte Matte and, matte and something, you know, you know the one I'm talking about, the infallible, you know that one. But I like this a whole lot more. I find that after I used this one and then I went back to that one just to kind of compare, I felt like the L'Oreal one is harder to blend and you have to blend a lot quicker, whereas this is a little bit of a thinner and easier to work. <laughs> work with. I, I, yeah, Tom Salad is coming through today. Um, obviously way too yellow for me, but yet I, I, I can't go the other way and I can't go yellow. Like I have to go green, if that makes sense. And no, not in a manner where like, Shit, why do I always do this? Kleenex is in the bowling. So, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the consistency. Not necessarily, but 
I mean, it's not that bad of a match, but I, I would combine it with something else if I was using this, which I'm not today on my face. I'll try to get this look up on Instagram tonight, BT dubs. So I definitely recommend the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Mid Foundation. I have the shade M80 and you guys, they make like 40 shades of this. So go CoverGirl. Also, they are Leaping Bunny certified cruelty free. I learned my lesson about cruelty free and I'm just going to say and keep it real, I am not cruelty free, you know, but oh, I respect anyone who is and you know, this isn't about politics. I'm not even going to go down that road. I feel like Whatever you like and whatever you want to do in your life is great. More power to you, but just because you feel a certain way doesn't mean that you need to convince other people that the way they're doing or what they're doing or what they're buying is wrong because, you know, like we only get one life, you guys. Just let people live. Just let us Anyways, so the other drugstore foundation, which this isn't going to be a surprise if you follow me on Instagram, the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Now this one is a more olive toned, as you can see, hopefully, you can see there that it has more olive tones in it than the CoverGirl, for example, and this is the shade MN4. What I also like about this is it has the big doe foot applicator, kind of like the Tarte, and I don't, I don't really like the Tarte, you guys. I'm just throwing that out there. I have it. I just don't ever reach for it. I used to love the concealer, the Shape Tape. But, yeah, I'll get into concealers in another video. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this guy and this foundation specifically. You can see it right there. It just, I don't even know how to explain it. But this foundation and the NARS, I feel like, have the same type of consistency formula and you know as a oily girl when I see the word radiant or dewy or glowy I'm like eh, I don't know I don't know if that'll work because I might end up looking like a fried donut in a matter of 30 minutes which I could be looking like right now oh shit there was my earring it's just a day in the life. Me. Just clumsy, dropping shit, losing shit, staining shit. Anyways, this foundation is good for all skin types, and I fully agree with that. It is hard to find a foundation that isn't, like, full coverage matte. It's very buildable. I'd say the coverage is medium to full. And since we're just on that bandwagon, I'm just going to go right into the NARS because it is very similar. You want to know what's really annoying? I just filmed the rest of this video, so talking about four or five more foundations, not realizing that the memory card was full, and I've just been talking to myself. Where was I? The NARS. The natural radiant longwear foundation natural radiant longwear foundation is that what i said i think that's what i said this is amazing and usually you know since i'm oily i tend to shy away from anything that says radiant but i don't look like a grease ball 
but you don't look like a flat, just matte person. And my ex's name is Matt, and I'm kind of bothered that I have to keep saying Matt. So this is the NARS, just so you can kind of see it. This is the shade Stromboli. And it just has such a beautiful finish. I don't find that this oxidizes on me whatsoever. I don't see if it has SPF in it, so that would kind of indicate that it probably doesn't. But yeah, this I'd say this is a medium to full and um, buildable foundation. Highly, highly recommend this. I think that this and the Physician's Formula would be great for any skin type. Dry, oily, I think everyone can join in on this one and the Physician's Formula. Well, um, I was thinking either in my next video we could do either maybe favorite brushes or favorite concealers. Just some thoughts, throwing them out there. Let me know below which one you would rather see next, and that's what I'll do. Or I was going to do a Q&A because I haven't really done anything more personal like that. And, you know, I mean, of course, there's going to be things that are off limits and questions that I may not answer. Like, I'm not going to ever tell you guys where I live, so get over it. And let's move on. The Giorgio Armani Powder Fabric Foundation. I will say that out of all the ones that I'm talking about today, this is going to be the one that I feel oxidizes the most on me, and it also does have SPF 25. So this, most of you guys probably have heard of the Luminous Silk, which I have as well. And I would recommend that if you're looking for something that's more medium coverage or you have more dry skin. This is more of a full coverage, full wear, you know, long wear. That's the word, long wear foundation. This is the shade 4.5 and I love this formula. It just, it doesn't have the flat look, but it doesn't have the radiant looks that like the NARS or the Healthy Foundation has. It just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. Long wearing, but I will say that you probably want to go in and either get a uh, shade matched or get a sample. Well, I'd recommend that for all of these. I mean, the drugstore ones, unfortunately, at least my drugstores around me, I can't, um, they don't have testers. So, um, yeah, the Giorgio Armani Powder Fabric is the one I would recommend for us oily girls. Now, this is going to come as no shock to you, and anybody from Instagram that's watching this is probably like, why hasn't she said it yet? The Marc Jacobs Remarkable. Hopefully the sun isn't, it's like starting to get sunny, or it's like it wants to be sunny and it can't quite do it. Um, anyways, the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. I will say that I'm not in love with the applicator. It's, it's like supposed to be a dropper, but it's not. So that's a little confusing. But I do love it, and I will say that this one specifically, out of all the foundations I own, and definitely the ones that I've talked about, this is the highest coverage and just full, it's almost like pure pigment concentration. So if you're on a budget, I wouldn't say get this one because you might be disappointed. It's very, very, very thick. Therefore, it kind of dries really fast. You have to work 
fast and it can be a little bit hard to blend but man once you mix this with like the healthy foundation or the NARS huh, it's heaven it's heaven so I love this guy I wish that they had some type of different applicator but be and it is expensive not gonna lie it's definitely the most expensive one here but I will say that because of how concentrated it is you don't need very much and it lasts a long long time so you know I mean that's kind of a bummer but what you get see just how thick that is like just that little drop you can tell it's not it's not moving it's not going anywhere this shit stays so if you want to live in your foundation, get that one. You'll thank me later. Let's move on. I have one that I've got to talk about. And then I have my no makeup makeup, like 10 minute makeup, non Instagram foundation makeup, and, and we're done. So the MAC. Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I would have to say that the MAC Studio Fix Fluid was my, I believe, one of the very first foundations, either that or Revlon Color Stay. I was really into that in high school. And uh, what I did, unfortunately, was I would put my foundation all over including my lips you can't forget about the lips in high school and then I would fully bronze all over so yeah that's the look I went for in high school unfortunately but the pro long wear I find that this one they do make the pro long wear in a bottle it comes almost identical to the Studio Fix Fluid. It looks very much like that. But the Pro Long Wear, I'd say, is more for oily skin or if you want it to last longer. I still like the Studio Fix, but I feel like I look like a grease ball within two hours. So the Pro Long Wear just lasts longer and the shade NC30. I find that the nourishing waterproof one is a little bit of a thinner consistency and easier to blend but it seems to be a little less coverage however both very 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 buildable and easy to apply and long lasting so the last, but definitely not least, is going to be for the people that don't want to have a full mask on, which this may shock you, but I don't actually wear a lot of makeup every day. In fact, I'd say I'm more often in no makeup than I am in full makeup. But if I want to, if, I, if I'm going somewhere that you know, there's a potential that I might like meet someone or see someone cool, then I do my 10 minute no makeup makeup. And the benefit Hello Happy saves my day. I have the shade five and it also has SPF 15 in it. I don't feel like this one oxidizes at all. And what I love doing, which this might not be sanitary, you guys, but, um, you know, it has this little dropper, but this dropper, the foundation just comes right out from it. So what I do is just kind of drop it on my face. Not sure if that sounds good or not. Um, and just blend it in. And I feel like it just gives you a nice, even kind of blurs your pores a little bit but definitely is not full coverage it is more of light to medium but also very buildable and I mean how cute is that so there's that too so 
that is all my foundations you guys well no that's not all my foundations those are my favorite foundations I am a mess and I love you guys so much thank you for your continued support on this journey I I didn't realize how awesome I guess YouTube was gonna be I've been on Instagram for a long ass time and you know I I'm not gonna lie I was a little apprehensive to start YouTube but now that I'm more consistently on here I actually like the environment and doing this type of stuff a little bit more than Instagram because I feel like on Instagram people can just see pixels and make judgments about you and about you know either your face or judging what you have or thinking that you're rich just because you have a lot of lipsticks I'll, I'll never be able to understand that but anyways I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for your support in me and I just am excited to be on this journey and to take you guys with me and I love you make sure to stay tuned because we're gonna be having another giveaway real soon real quick and let me know what you guys want to see next follow me on Instagram I'll be putting this look up hopefully ASAP tonight and I hope you guys have a really good Memorial Day weekend. Please, 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 whatever you do, Ubers, Lyft, I mean, it's so easy to not drink and drive. Just please, you guys, just don't do it. Just, just don't do it. Call Uber. Don't call me. I won't come pick you up. <laughs> but I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time.